Hey everyone, it's up with Collectors here. We're opening up three blaster boxes or value boxes of 2024 Topps Chrome Baseball. They've done some new things this year. They've upped the price on these, but they've also included some different parallels. You still get the standard two sepias and two pink parallels in each blaster box. Uh, you get four cards per pack, seven cards um, or seven packs per box, and you also get a chance at autographs in these. Um, they have ray waves in uh, the blasters again, um, and sonar purples and uh, other sonars. So they have like sonar uh, different colors of that, as well as the ray. Well, I should say let's, let us back up. They have the sonar purples, but then they also have these ray waves that are par colored parallels that go all the way down uh, to red. And I'm not sure there might even be a super fractor. Also, there's something that Beckett said on their. Uh, checklist that there's a light board logo uh, card as well. So I'm not really sure what that is, but they did add some new things. So let's get into these, see what we can find out of these boxes. Hopefully you guys are doing well. These retail for $40 this year. Yeah, it's um, a little hard to swallow if you were used to buying these at $20 a few years ago. Uh, double the price and um, let's see what else they have in, on the box here. So you're looking for that. And then, okay, so they have the green autographs, uh, your green refractors, autographs um, in retail. And then um, you're looking for the super limited autograph versions of select inserts as well as um, insert hits like uh, Topps Chrome Layered Variation, the Topps Chrome Expose, Fanatical, and Let's Go. Um, and so those are just some of the, the highlights you can look for in here. Let's get into these. Um, I know there's been, you know, a lot of people unhappy because they are so much more expensive than before, which is understandable. The cards do look nice. Let's see what we have here. We do have a green already, and we have a pink. So it looks green ray wave and christopher morales number two at 990 or 99 excuse me um 62 of 99 and then we have cole reagan's in the pink and those are not going to be numbered so we got two parallels right off the bat there already got a numbered parallel in pack number one in that green ray wave looks quite nice so let's see what else we can get out of this box, there's Bobby Witt having a great year, Aaron Judge as well, and Irving Lopez is going to be a refractor. If you don't know, it does say refractor up here in the corner. This is now a 300 card checklist. So, yeah, they've increased the amount of cards in the checklist versus what was it, 220 before? There's an Owen White rookie. You can see the quality control looks pretty good on these. Uh, Jeff McNeil, and here's our first insert, uh, Tristan Cassis, a Future Stars insert for the Red Sox. So that's pretty nice. Let me know, are you buying hobby or retail or neither? Um, they will come out with monster boxes as well, and I believe those are going to be $65. So those have gone up in price as well. There's a nice one, a Senga and the prism, and then a nice, a, a sepia of Luis Robert. So I do like the look of the sepia this year. That's pretty sweet. So it looks like if you get, uh, uh, it looks like they kind of loaded up the packs uh, to have a couple, there's a Ronnie, to have a couple different cards. And we have another green in here. Interesting, Stephen Kwan, um, Luis Arise, and Tovar in the green. And then we have James Altman. So this is going to be numbered. Where's the numbering? There it is. 97 of 99 right there on the bottom. So pretty cool. The green. Um, I try to think of what that parallel is called. It's not the wave. But anyways, let me know in the comments below what that one is called if you're familiar. So all right, we're getting a lot of color out of here, which is good. We got another refractor back there. Logan Webb and a... Uh, Everson. All right, so nice for the Yankees, a rookie. Um, and uh, they aren't doing the MVP buyback program again this year, so hang on to these cards. You never know who's going to be the MVP. Or Robbie Ray, a Diaz, and we have a nice looking insert here, Luis Rise. Um, 
That is pretty sweet. This one is the Strokes insert. I do like the look of that. And then last but not least, Justin Steele in the Sepia or Sepia. I don't know how, what, how you guys say it. Everybody says it a little different. I've heard it said different ways. Probably get ripped on for saying it Sepia, but um, sorry. All right, let's see what is in box number two. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up button and like the video uh also comment below and let me know what you think of this um particular version of tops chrome do you like uh this version the jumbos or the hobbies and if you could afford any of them which ones are you buying there's a nice corbin carroll we have a ray wave here nice mason win ray wave so that's a good one one of the top rookies in the set and chris bryant pink so we'll sleeve that guy up there. Um, these are just the base, so they're not going to be numbered. And the numbering looks like on all these is going to be in the front. So let's see if we can pull an autograph out of this one. Um, most all the autographs are on card. Uh, I know in the past, sometimes the inserts were not on card. They're a sticker, but I don't know if they changed that this year. There's a nice Dominguez rookie. Jordan Walker, and a nice, a refractor of Mason Wynn. So, all right, Mason Wynn hot box here. Not bad at all to pull him. I pulled a gold of his out of a, a Series 2 a blaster box, I believe. So, pretty fun. We have um, another, or we have an insert in the back here. And Evaldi, and then... The strokes insert again. This time it's Jordan Alvarez. All right. Onward and upward. We got four more packs out of this box. Looking for a numbered card or an autograph. We got this Wilson Contreras prism. And behind that, a Sepia Suzuki. All right. So far, I'd say the blaster box number one definitely had better stuff in it. Um, with the numbering, but hey, we're not all the way through this box. CJ Abrams, and here we go, the purple. Um, Byron Buxton, number to 275. So I think this might be the sonar, I think. I think that's what it's called, sonar. All right, if you've already commented below, let me know, but I think it's sonar. So that's 275, and obviously there's different colors of that. So Byron Buxton, um, colored. So that's our third numbered parallel. We did get that Ray Wave parallel as well. That was not numbered, just the base. Uh, man, we have a Tristan uh, Gray refractor. All right, last pack of box number two. Forty dollars a pop. Yeah, you definitely are not getting the same value you were when they were twenty. But hey, maybe we'll pull a monster card. Mike Trout, Anthony Rizzo, and a uh, nineteen eighty nine insert. Curtis Mead, and then Mister Joey Votto. So weird to see him uh, in a Blue Jays uniform. All those years, of course, with the Cincinnati Reds. All right, last box here. Blaster box. Um, Luke has these at his shop, by the way. I don't know if they've hit retail stores, but um, they are available on Top's website. I think Target has them available as well. And I think they're $40 across the board. I know Meyer will probably have them. Well, maybe not, but they most likely will have them a little bit higher. If you have a Meyer by you, they're always $5 to $10 more. So if that's the case, I would be buying them online or from another place that you can save the money all right uh trevor story and we have uh, mr home run derby and um rojas um in the ray wave so not numbered and then ryan mcmahon in the pink all right so if that's any indication maybe this box isn't going to be as good as the first the first one we got two numbered cards this is another dominguez rookie so we pulled some nice rookies out here, Jordan Walker and then um, Abner Uribe for the Brewers. That's going to be numbered, or not numbered, that's a refractor, sorry, that's the refractor. And then Rodriguez, Bradley, and in another Mason Wynn. Man, this is the Mason Wynn break. All right, that's a 1989 uh, Mason Wynn. Those are sharp looking cards. So we got three Mason Wynn 
uh, cards and not going to complain anytime you get one of the better rookies on the back. We haven't pulled a single Ellie De La Cruz, the guy on the cover yet. All right, let's see who else we have in this box. Another Corbin Carroll. I feel like we've gotten a lot of these, a lot of doubles, a Glaber Torres and Seth Lugo. So it's the prism, Seth Lugo. Good pitcher for the Royals. All right, what do we have in our next pack? We have a couple pitchers to start out. C.J. Abrams, and we have this card right here. What is this one called? I don't know. Is this one of the special ones? All right, keep your eye out for retail exclusive chrome rookie autographs, green refractors, parallels, vibrant chrome parallels. Um, do, 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 newcomers. Okay, those are the newcomers. What is this one the chrome layered variation tops chrome expose huh i don't know let me know in the comments below this definitely looks like not a normal card uh and i don't see anything on it that indicates exactly what it is and i have not seen a lot of breaks so i don't know uh, but that's definitely got to stand out as a as a unique card for sure all right, we'll put that one in the back. Leave it up a minute here. Dominic Canzone? Is that how you say his name? Canzone? All right, maybe I just butchered that, but all right, that's pretty sweet. Something like, it looks like a team logo, but I don't see that on here. I didn't see that on Topps Chrome Expose. No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, anyways, trying to see what that could be. Don't know. All right, without wasting too much time, we'll get into the next pack here. All right, hopefully we can pull something else, but that card is definitely interesting. Manny Machado and nice, a Rafaela of my Red Sox. He's playing really well for the Red Sox. And last pack, that's a refractor, by the way, should have another parallel in it. Um, what was it, a sepia? I think we got our two pinks, so let's see. We have a Pete Alonzo insert and a sepia of Spencer Steer. All right, so Pete Alonzo stroke. So I'm guessing that this card here is definitely some kind of rarity, but I don't know for sure. But let's look at the little recap of what we pulled out of this one. Um, some of the highlights, so the inserts, parallels. You can see you get a fair amount of color out of this. Um, in a hobby box, I think it's about two numbered cards and then your autograph. So you're getting a lot of color out of uh, retail for, uh, you know, the money, really. Uh, but you are getting definitely retail exclusive color. So like the Ray Waves and the Pinks and the Sepias. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care and have fun collecting.